almost every morning, so that was like different this morning, so I always am there. And uh, so I talked to them as they were getting ready to go, get ready for school today. And it was kind of, a, I guess, a little warmer, but a rainy-ish morning today. And I got a couple of phone calls about going to the airport yesterday, okay? And what went on at the airport? And I get a call from a couple of different writers, a couple of people, what happened at the airport yesterday? I'm like, what are you talking about, what happened at the airport yesterday? And now I find out that it was a big deal today in a couple of places that I supposedly had a police escort to the airport yesterday when I left and went to LaGuardia, okay? Now, let me tell you what really happened, okay? I gotta come clean. I didn't really have a police escort. These guys, yesterday morning, these cops who work the uh, Port Authority and work at the airport actually came to my house, made me breakfast, packed my clothes, and they didn't pack them right the first time, so I made them pack them again. And then they got like 15 cop cars together, and they had like a big convoy, and we all went to the airport. And then they basically taxied me out onto the tarmac, I opened a plane up, and I got on. Now, what do you think? Honestly, I don't know where this story started. First of all, I went to the airport yesterday, okay? My wife drove me with the kids, got out of the car, and was greeted by a couple of guys who I happen to know because my driver, Julio, who's here because he's a Niner fan, who drives me all the time, is a former, is a longtime caller, Julio from Barry, as everyone knows, and is a uh, former New York City detective. So I know a couple of guys at the airport who are friends of his because I've given them tickets to games, I've given them tickets to games for their kids and stuff like that, so I know the guys. So yesterday when I was there, they came over to say hello. They walked me inside to the airport. And they hung out with me for a couple minutes, talking sports. They sat down. I was there early. Somebody must have tweeted something. Again, it's the same thing. It's always somebody making up a story or something about me having a police escort to the airport. And then uh, the guys in the morning picked up on it and started making a big deal about it. And then I got people calling me up about it. A, A, nobody escorted me to the airport. And there's Julio on TV. We don't need to show Julio on TV. He doesn't need it any more attention. Number two, no, one, number one, nobody took me to the airport. Number two, when I got to the airport, I stood on every line. I stood, not only did I stand on line, but I hate metal check, okay? It's one of my least favorite things in the history of the world because of the fact that I have knee replacement, and it goes off every time. I stood on the line, waited, waited, got up there, put all my stuff in the bin, and of course it went off. So the guy came over and the policemen who were, the guys were gonna hang out with me for a little while because I was there about an hour early, were waiting at the end. When I got through, they were gonna join me again and you know, walk with me and sit down and talk for a couple minutes, talk a little sports. I got in there and the guy said, do you wanna go to an area where you can have a, you know, a private search or you gonna do it here? I said, oh yeah. Well, this guy, I'm telling you, now, I don't fly, I don't go in the airport too many times because I don't like it that much, okay? So, I go in there and this guy proceeds basically to search me for, and, and, and basically pat me down for like 15 minutes to the point where I was, I was going to slug him. I couldn't take it anymore. And finally, uh, they clear me to go after they do, I mean, it, it went on forever. I mean, I must have been, I must have went this guy for 10 minutes, Okay. You know, it was like a second date by the time I finished with this guy. And I get through, then I go and I sit with these guys in the uh, club for a couple of minutes. We talked with uh, one guy is an Angel fan, the other guy is a Red Sox fan. We're talking some sports, we're talking about uh, some different things. They walk me over to the, to the gate, <coughs> and the plane's delayed because the pilot wasn't there. He was sick or something. So they said goodbye, and I sat there and uh, sat up against the wall, and there were a lot of New York media people and local media people who are on the plane too that I saw and then about an hour later the plane boarded or 45 minutes later the plane boarded and away we come now where the other story came from I have no idea uh, so sorry sorry for those people who made up this ridiculous story there was no police escort there was uh, no anything there was no preferential treatment although I could have used some yesterday I didn't get any so if they could have made me not have to stand on that line for 15 minutes and get patted down for 10 more, I would have appreciated it, but they didn't do that. So they didn't do a thing except sit and talk with me for about 20 minutes after I got through the uh, metal check line. And other than that, but it made for a good story. And uh, so it seems like every year there is one of those as we begin, but I hate, I 